Hello, this is Bishop Garland Hunt. This is the Power of Hope devotional. You know, every devotional, I want it to impact your life. So I hope that you will listen and not just look at it and keep swiping. <laughs> Please don't swipe me. <laughs> Please don't swipe me. Come on, listen to what I have to say to you because this time I want to talk to you about bodily exercise or natural exercise or natural muscle versus spiritual muscles. And so I guess I want to ask you the question, are your your muscles spiritually strong enough? Are you spiritually strong? Are you spiritually strong? Very important. So let's go with this. Your muscles that you have, um, I, I do, I, 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 um, when I, when I bought my house, I bought my house and uh, the person, the previous person um, had a weight room in the house. So of course I had a separate uh, arrangement with them to, to, to keep the weight room or everything that he had in the weight room. So, so, so then I've used that many times to go in and work out. And then I'm also a member of a gym that I try to work out also. And, and right now, probably I do more cardio than that, but, but I do. There are times I even do push-ups, quite a bit of push-ups in my, in, in my office while I'm looking at television. I want to, you know, keep pushing up because I know that for, for your strength to continue or your muscles to increase or to have the density of your muscles, you have to exercise. To, to maintain a strong muscle, to maintain the strength of your muscles, and for your muscles to not turn to fat or flab, you have to strengthen those muscles, you have to exercise those muscles. So, so I realized that. So even if I haven't been lifting weights, then I have to at least do push-ups and multiple push-ups. Sometimes I try to do over 100 a night. Just, just trying to keep the push-ups flowing. Why? Because I want to keep my natural muscles strong. But let me ask you a question about your spiritual muscles. Listen, let me ask you a question about it. Now, the scripture that I get, gotta get, give you is First Timothy chapter four, eight. Chapter 1 Timothy chapter four, eight. It says, "For bodily exercise profiteth little. Bodily exercise profit, but godliness is profitable unto all things." having promise of life that is now and that which is to come. So, so, so comparatively speaking, no matter how much I exercise in a natural, no matter how tr I try to maintain my, my, my natural muscle, there's nothing that could be compared to my spiritual muscle. In other words, am I exercising myself spiritually? So what does that mean? Am I pushing? Am I pushing myself spiritually? Am I praying longer? Like say if, I, if I'm used to praying for 30 minutes, am I praying 45? Am I pushing myself to, to, to maybe go on a fast? Am I pushing myself to push away the plate? Am I pushing myself to, to pray with other people? Am I pushing myself to exercise my faith? Something that, that challenges your spiritual muscle so much so that it takes it to that point that you don't know if you could go further on your own. But the reality of it is you can, you can. So you push stronger, just like you do that muscle. You push stronger, you spend more time with God. You spend the time in your prayer closet. You're using this time to pray for other people. You're believing God for miracles. So, so that muscle is getting, that spiritual muscle is constantly moving because it says here, bodily exercise profit little, but godliness is profitable unto all things. In other words, when you live godly, when you're doing the things of God, when you're fulfilling the will of God, then it's much more important than bodily exercise. Much more important. So I just want to challenge you today. How strong are you spiritually? Is a negative situation going to take you out? If situations happen and you're going to get so anxious you can't move? Is that situations where you, you, you isolate yourself and you're not a part of the body of Christ? You kept coming up with excuses for why you can't do the things of God. See, when you do that, you're spiritually weak. I'm calling you. I'm saying to you, get strong spiritually. The Lord is saying to you, strengthen your spiritual muscle. This is Bishop Garland Hunt. This is a Power of Hope devotional. I'll talk to you next time.